this is going to be more of a chilled out stream uh if you are aware of what we do on twitch it's just a chilled out stream obviously today i also got my new baby so i uh, want want to test her out of course and um yeah i'll give you a quick overview of bitcoin and then that way if people join the stream late i'll just say go to the start of the video where i talked about bitcoin <laughs> actually you can't rewind on twitch so uh yeah, i'll just cover bitcoin now anyway yeah <laughs> Obviously, earlier today talked about uh, this range that we were in, and it was actually really, really, really cool what happened. Yeah, really, really cool what happened. Uh, <laughs> we obviously were talking about the yearly point of control. <laughs> I'd done the magic line, didn't I? I'd done the magic line, and Bitcoin was just magnanated, magnanated, uh, you know, making up words as we go along here. The, the magnet was drew, the line was drew, and uh, the rest is history, so they say. Uh, price did come up. We swing failure patterns, the <laughs> yearly point of control. Okay, as you can see here, which was actually just just as i released the video you couldn't have got a better timing like the title of the video was called like bitcoin about to break down short and then literally we took the highs um <laughs> yeah it was literally like perfect timing this whole thing couldn't have asked for anything any better really and then we obviously had the swing failure pattern for me like this was instant bam 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 bada bam 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 we had the line we saw the swing failure pattern swing failure pattern of the yearly point of control and it just come together really nicely, yeah. Really, really, really nicely. Because this was like over like coming 24 hours of absolutely nothing. And what you're doing during this sideways period is just building up stops above the high. Building up stops. And then you got people anxious to try and long the breakout as soon as it come. We poke above the high. You get people longing the breakout. You got shorts getting stopped out. And traders like myself entering their shorts. Why? Because it was a simple, simple, simple setup. Simple setup, yeah. Swing failure pattern of the yearly point of control. You don't need anything else. Don't need, didn't need anything else for this. Okay. It's kind of like make the plan, which is if we get a swing failure pattern, let's trade it. We got a swing failure pattern. Let's look for lower. And obviously we got lower now. You might think what, you know, why did you not long another touch of this daily? So what you have to think, if you're longing another touch of this daily, that is then longing a very big sign of weakness. Why was there a big sign of weakness? Because this is then a partial rise which is bearish okay off of the fact that you haven't got a full rotation so basically if you're thinking to yourself another long of this daily might be a good idea in my opinion it's not an, it's not a good idea simply because it is coming off of the back of a partial rise after a swing failure pattern so if you can recognize the context here which is undoubtedly bearish yeah don't think you're looking for the long off the next touch by the way i did not long the next touch i did not long the cc and really simply, I remained in shorts looking for lower. I posted this over 24 hours ago in my group. Over 24 hours ago in my group, I posted uh, really simply, if we lose this daily, that for me is a really big weakness, yeah? I'm not going to look to long the CC. I'm not going to look to long the SR flips. And I'm really simply going to chill in my short positions. Why? Because I felt as if it will go lower than the CC, to be honest with you. Yeah? It's just, just my thought process you know, sideways range for five days, when it breaks down, do I want to try and catch the knife? I personally didn't want to. I'm happy to wait for a reclaim if it happens over the daily, yeah? If it doesn't happen and it goes much lower, hey, I am going to be very happy. If it finds support after filling the CME gap, I'm not going to long the exact low. I can get in after a, a reclaim of the daily, yeah? Really, it's like I was saying earlier, just playing the advantageous position, yeah? Playing the advantageous side. Uh, somebody's saying an echo on the stream. Is there an echo, is there? Hmm, that's really weird. Um, echo. Let me think why there might be an echo. Um, yeah. Uh, I really don't know why there's an echo. Is there actually an echo, is there? Um, why is there an echo? I know, lots of people now saying no echo. I mean, this is, I get trolled hard on the chats. I, I never know what to believe. <laughs> I don't think there is an, I was going to say, it's a bit weird if there's an echo. I don't think there's actually an echo. Uh, lots of people saying no echo. That's good. Uh, let me read through some of the comments. <laughs> what's up, what's up, what's up? Dan the man. Dan the man with the plan, as always. Um, 
of course I'm out of that long position. Yeah, I did. I did have a long off of this touch of the daily. Yeah, I had a long off of this touch of the daily. I'd already hit take profit one when we had previously hit the point of control of the range. And then when we saw the swing failure pattern, uh, you know, I'm, I'm out fully of that long position, by the way. I'm out, I'm out of that long of the daily. The only way I'd get into one now is either lower or a reclaim of, of the daily. Uh, so, yeah, I am out of that long. Still obviously holding the short position. Had originally a short position from the monthly. Hit take profit one, hit take profit two. After that swing failure pattern, compounded that short and more. Uh, so I have the short then from this range and obviously still the short from $69,000, of course. Um, that one's paying well in funding, to be honest. Um, hey, Dan, could we be in a big free drives pattern? Um, no, I wouldn't say this is a free drives pattern. It depends what time frame you're looking at. If you're looking at the daily, no, I would not say this is a free drives pattern. Audio. Yeah, there we go. Audio is fine. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Could we still be going down for wave five? Yes, that is absolutely a possibility that we are still going down lower for wave five that is possible okay obviously we had the potential of this swing failure pattern have a have a potential low but obviously you know the, the thing is we have to trade what's happening i did think that we could have put in a potential wave five here but all we've done in the end was do a swing failure pattern retest the monthly retest the monthly retest the monthly resistance and what was this it was another lower high lower high lower high lower high lower high lower high this is still a lower high from the last significant high so the market structure never has changed this is a lower high from here so this is the problem because we were never able to reclaim this monthly of support it is still another lower high in this downtrend so it's something you have to be very 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 careful of if you are too aggressive on longs because we are still within a strong downtrend, period. Undeniable. And this is why I'm very cautious now. Uh, and I'm happy to just chill in shorts. <laughs> Hope you're feeling better. Um, I am actually feeling better. It's just I still have like a blocked nose and cold and stuff, which is a bit annoying, but... Uh, I'm actually feeling better, to be fair. Thank you. <laughs> um, what am I eating? <laughs> eating some mango, grapes, strawberries, blueberries. Yeah, I always have the. I always have my fruit every day. I lo I uh, love fruit. I'm a fruit person. Uh, mm -mm -mm. He says, nice PC, Daniel. Did you have problems with your old one? Yeah, to be honest, I did. Uh, it was a bit laggy. Obviously, this is the new beast that I'm going to be using today. 3090, DDR5, Z, uh, Z690, no, Z6 something. <laughs> new motherboard. We've got a 12th gen. we got a liquid cooler. Yeah, this is a powerful build. Not going to lie. This, this should uh, max out. Uh, should max out. Uh, when will the thousand pound membership com competition be announced? I think it's actually going to, I believe it's going to be announced this week on the Champions live stream on Sunday. If not this Sunday, next Sunday, definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, 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 that, that thousand dollars will be given away. I think this week, if not next week, uh, in the Champions live stream. Um, <laughs> was 60k was $69,000 the top <laughs> it was certainly a top for uh, something significant <laughs> it certainly was the top for something now look at this post that I done the other yeah well this was last month now um, but this will get you thinking this will hopefully get you thinking anyway uh, how about this? Uh, you can read this yourself. Well, I'll read it out for you. Remember when I myself called $65,000 as the high using Fibonacci time <laughs> two years in advance? Yeah. For this, for this pivot on the Bitcoin chart at 65K, yeah, this pivot here, which is obviously at the middle of April, 
that was called from a Fibonacci time pivot two years in advance. If you've been around watching our videos long enough, you'll know that. And obviously from that, we had a 50% drop in price to $28,000. So we called the high at $65,000 and we had a 50, over a 50% drop to obviously $28,000. And from $28,000, we had here our falling wedge and obviously that broke to the downside and we longed $29,000. So we managed to actually trade at every pivot here, shorting the pivot high from our Fibonacci time, trading it down to the $28,000, $29,000 low, low here, where obviously I had fully closed my short here at $32,000, re-longed at $29,000, took that up to $69,000, where then I took that short position. This was posted last month in the group. We have now long, we know, we've taken our longs to $69,000, well, we have now shorted again. Odds on $69,000 being the high for a nice drop are very high. Trading the probabilities, trading the odds. <laughs> the odds are you're betting on how often am I wrong? <laughs> That's what you're betting on there. How often am I, am I wrong? Not very often. So I'm looking obviously, for, I, I do think 69K was a nice a nice high. Uh, front row, why was it so nice? Um, because it was a significant Fibonacci level because we had a lot of people looking for like 72, 73, $75,000. It basically just front run a lot of people, a lot of front run a lot of people's targets. Um, yeah, so that, that, that two things and together was enough. Uh, you know, also we had extreme, you know, we had extreme FOMO, you have to remember. While we were hitting, um, while we were hitting $69,000, you know what everyone was talking about? Let's load this one up as well. Everyone was talking about um, 10K, the, the, the 10K daily candles. Yeah, this is what everyone was talking about. Everyone was all about, obviously, the $98,000. Oh, man, I've actually got a lot of slack about this. Apparently, I cannot, you know, I can't call out anybody. Uh, should Apparently, I, I, very mean of me to call out uh, this bad prediction. But, hey, all I know, all I'm saying is, at the start of November, when we're hitting such high levels, a lot of people are bullish expecting 10K daily candles to $98,000. That's all I'm saying. That's what people are expecting. That's why there was so much FOMO because everyone was fixated on $98,000 in November. Yeah, I was actually after 10K <laughs> red candles in November. Anyway, yeah, that, that, that's why. That's why 69K was, was really, 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 really massive, actually. Um... And again, that was predicted one year in advance. One year in advance. Uh, $69,000. <laughs> and it was also obviously a meme level. We are the chart champions and we are also the meme champions. Yeah, if you, if you enjoy memes, if you enjoy a laugh, <laughs> no better place. <laughs> no better place. Um, anyway, yeah, that's, that's Bitcoin. Uh, that, that's why I'm... Chilling in shorts. And uh, that's why now I'm going to play Biomon. 